Hello guys, this is Tuxpelton84. I'm playing as China today. And um yeah, we've oil's our main problem so far. 76% stability, 103 factors, we're doing pretty good. It's 36 divisions and we're doing we're doing subjugate the warlords. Plus we're building really fast. Gotta get that building up. Infrastructure making everything actually good. And then once we do subjugate the warlords, we can invade everyone and take over their land. Become the only China. Okay guys, so that one submitted, refuses, refuses, refuse submits, refuses, submits, submits. So who the heck submitted? I literally have no clue. Oh! Oh, they're my puppets, I see, I see. So, a lot of them did submit. What I do? We got anti-communism. Okay, first we need to turn on this volume. And we're gonna build in all their territories. So, like, you know, they lose autonomy. So, these guys, we're gonna invade there first. And then once these troops are done training, they're at 61. I'll put them here, and they, we can take them to the Shangzi. Okay, guys, so... Here's the part where we still have the war goal, so. Puppet, focus, except they're not gonna puppet them. Well, I could, but like, that would not make it. That wouldn't work. That brought down. Dude, that, that didn't bring down my stability as much. Charge! Okay, that's a lot of green, I'm saying. These are my Japanese killer divisions from last time when I played as Vietnam. So, and since they don't have enough troops to fill up the whole front, we should do good. Yeah, we're winning most of the battles. That would be bad if we didn't, because if we lost this, um, these Chinese would probably immediately rebel. Literally everyone would just go against us. Should I call in the rest? No, that just caused world tension. I've got a lot of divisions. Okay, so th there's not many casualties in this war. There's just like us winning and then really nothing else. Because we're the biggest China. Okay, we're getting a bit stuck down here. We're getting casualties now. Shing Z. Shing Z has fallen. Let me turn down volume more. And they fill pretty quickly, but then down here, Gan the Ganji Kli is still holding on. We we've got all green, and the small bit of these guys that are left, we've got green on. Oh, that works perfectly! I literally caused zero world tension to go up. If I caused it to go up, that would that would be a problem. Oh, I'm gonna pick up a fight with Japan. Don't know why I did that. It's most likely not a good idea. Okay, there we go. That's not working. Well, actually, it is working. It's just that there's so many battles that it's hard to tell where it's working and where it's not. Okay, on the left, we we're, we basically got around their lines. Um, do we take their capital? Yeah, we did. It's a minor city, though. There we go. We're so close to their second capital. Yeah, in the um, in the west, we're winning a lot, but in the east, it's a bit harder of battles. There we go. Heck, we caused slight bit world tension. We caused 0.40% world tension. That's cool. I have a war goal in Japan now. I'm just not gonna. I'm gonna be smart and not use that yet. Okay, so, guys, we're not integrating the armies of the other China. Okay. We've reached the breaking point. Cool.
So yeah, there we go. I've still got, I like, if I try to build something, I've got so much stuff building for all my puppets at this point that it would not be of use. So let's just hope we hold. And we have nine more divisions on the way. Okay, we're do we're bringing their ministry. Okay, Soviet volunteers are going to people. Oh come on, we're existing in Japan's already coastally attack. Build spam build forts in each province. I don't really have an air force though, that's the only thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, we we we've defended against Japanese naval invasions. Eleven thousand casualties so far. For them, we don't have that many. See, our oil is our main problem. Here's the only problem with Japan uh, with Japan attacking is um in a fort in like fifth under fifty days, China will unite, which will pose a bit of an issue to them. Um. As you guys would think, fighting a united China is harder than fighting, like, you know, eight different Chinas. So, it's not gonna... So, it's not gonna end up being good for them. Okay, we, we, we lost a lot of men during that. I don't know what, what's up with going on here, though. Oh, the Japanese divisions were not prepared for that. Yep, that just pulled their casualties above ours. I have an idea. But it requires intelligence and use of troops in the correct place at the correct time. Mostly the second one. Defend. Send half the detachment over to help them. Defeat. Help defeat them. These guys need help too. We need to defeat these guys. Yes, go, go, go. That was perfect. Come on, let's do it. How many guys can we encircle? Please don't break the encirclement. Oh, dang. These guys can hold this encirclement. With my 30 division units, or my 30 divisions. Yeah, the Japanese definitely, the Japanese populace is definitely not happy about this one. Oh, yes. Okay, we're winning in the north, not so much in the south. I gave them time to reinforce their line when I, like, you know, had to replenish my troops. Okay, so, we gonna do this, guys? We're almost there. We're almost the only China. And we've almost defeated, well, we are the only China. But we've almost defeated Japan, too. That'd be an extra, you know, dot on a record. Yeah, this is not a good idea on their part. I can say that for sure. There's not even a port up here, I don't think. Yeah, there's not. Let's see how many we can... The war has been won. Well, anyway guys, that's definitely gonna be it for this video. Um, you know, as China, I became Chi the biggest China by taking over everyone else. I defeated Japan on basically one-on-one -on -one combat. Only had th 400,000 casualties. So yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.